evenings and welcome to Framlingham and indeed Framlingham Castle. So it's the Tudor Travel Guide here and today we are in Framlingham which is in a deepest Suffolk and we're going to be looking at the castle. So let's do a little bit of history about Framlingham Castle first of all. The castle that you can see behind me here um, was built uh, largely in the 13th century um, and it was lived in by the Howard family for around about 400 years and this was really their stronghold um, during that period of time. Um, as you can see there was a mere over in that direction and these wonderfully fortified walls which ensured that this was a really good place for the Howard family to have their kind of centre of power. I suppose from a Tudor point of view, one of the most interesting things, of course, is it was here at Framlingham that Mary Tudor, daughter of Henry VIII, found out that the country had proclaimed her queen after the death of her brother, Edward VI. And she was actually inside these walls at the time. She'd been mustering her support and, um, and, and she found out that she was queen right here. And it was from here that, of course, she set off to London to, to uh, take her place as, as Queen of England. So what we're going to do is we're going to go inside, we're going to have a look around first of all, and uh, why don't you just come with me? So here we are inside Framingham Castle, and if you can see over there, that's the main gateway, and you may be able to see the original 16th century Tudor doorway. Um, and of course we've got this um, fabulously strong curtain wall, which is really what remains of the medieval castle along with the towers. But if we come over here, come with me, come with me. <laughs> here, was, you have to imagine that in this um, inner courtyard, there were buildings surrounding and built into the walls. And here we have the existing site of the chapel and you can see the window up there, which is facing east, so this would have been the altar area. And the chapel itself adjoined directly to the privy apartments of, for the lord or lady and his family. And this is where we would have found the privy apartments located at first floor level. Um, apparently, originally, one single room, which by the Tudor period had been divided into two. Um, so one would imagine that this is where Mary Tudor would have stayed when she came to Framlingham and perhaps even here was where she heard the news that she had been proclaimed queen. And I just want to show you one final detail which is uh, really rather charming. So if you follow me over here, um, if you see here you've got this archway and in fact this was originally a door. As we come forward, this was originally a door which led over a bridge and into the privy, uh, privy gardens for the castle. So here we are up on the ramparts of Framlingham Castle and you can see the fabulous view which of course would allow the castle to be incredibly well defended in an age when castles needed to be defensive and if you look down you can see the moat or the remnants of the moat down below. Of course it's dry now and the mere over there in the distance. And then of course you've got these fabulously thick, chunky walls and the numerous towers, which you'll be able to see dotted around. And from up here, we get a great view of the inner courtyard, which was once um, surrounded by buildings, offices for the functioning of the castle. And then on the far side, over on the far side of the wall, we get uh, a view of what remains of the original privy apartments of the castle with the chapel and its east-facing window over on the right and then to the left of that the original um, would have been the original apartments for the Lord and his lady and family. As you can see um, I'm up on a different part of the ramparts now and this gives us a different view. I'm on the side of the castle where the privy apartments once were tucked down beneath where we are now. But actually, what I really want to show you is um, facing in the other direction. So you can see here down below that there are the pillars remaining behind of the bridge that once led out from the privy apartments across into this, this area of grassland, which as you can see is very flat, it's like a plateau. And uh, this, that bridge led out onto the privy garden. So 
perhaps we can imagine these gardens in their heyday and Mary Tudor indeed taking the air in the gardens dizzy with the knowledge that in fact she was finally Queen of England.